everybody welcome to my craft room today I'm going to show you how I created this three-piece candle centerpiece and it's made mostly of Dollar Tree items so let's get started so first you're going to need four of these candle holders that I purchased at the Dollar Tree and I'll kind of tell you all the supplies we need as we go along and on all four we're going to take a piece of our this is bling wrap that I purchased at Walmart they also have the diamond wrap that you can find at the Dollar Tree but I could not find any more of the silver so we're going to be using this for this project so I cut off three rows and we're going to put around each one of our candlesticks right in the center So now we have all four of our candlesticks that we're going to use. All of the bling wrap around the center. Now we're going to take two of our candlesticks and we're going to flip one over and glue it right on top of the other. Now for this I recommend using the E6000 to hold it together. Um, I'm going to be using hot glue just for the video, but if you use this you need to let it sit overnight or I would say 24 hours to make sure that it's glued together good. So for this we're just going to hot glue these two together. I mean this will work fine if you're not going to be moving it around very much. Now I'm going to take, I cut two rows of the diamond wrap and I'm going to place that right around the center where we glued our two pieces together and that will hide that and add a little more shine to our project. We're just going to go ahead and glue that all the way around the center. So there, that's finished that. Now we can push that to the side for now. And now for the tops of these, I purchased these eight, eight round plates. They measure about five and three quarters around and we're going to be using these for the tops to hold our flowers. So on the one that I'm going to be putting on the tall center one, I cut out a piece of white cardstock and glued it on the inside of the plate. That way you won't see any of this glue from underneath. And on the shorter ones, you don't really need to do that unless somebody's going to stick their head down on the table and look under it. You're never going to see it. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Okay, so now we're going to take one of these little tea light candle holders that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. These come two in a pack, and we're going to glue that right in the center. And actually, I'm going to mark the center with a pen because you can see through these. And it's right there. Okay, so now we're going to add some hot glue to the bottom of our tea light candle. And again, if you want, you can use the E6000 on this too for a better hold. And then we're going to try and center that. And I think that looks pretty good right there. So then you're going to need three of the pillar candles that I also purchased at the Dollar Tree. For each one of our plates. And we're just going to go ahead and put some hot glue on the bottom of this. And glue that right on top of our tea light holder. Now for the flowers I purchased three bunches of the pink roses, three bunches of the white roses. I also have some of the baby's breath that I'm going to be using and some of these really cute little pink and white flowers 
that also all came from the Dollar Tree. So what I did with these was I cut them off really short. I cut this piece off the back, all these little things, and then I took the leaf off the stem, and then it has this little plastic piece you're going to want to pop off. So I popped that off of there, and now to make sure that your rose doesn't come apart, you're going to want to shoot some hot glue right in that little hole, and glue your leaves right on top. and not glue your finger. Just like that. So I went ahead and I did all those. So now we're just going to take our flowers and we're going to just start attaching them with some hot glue. Right up against the tea light holder. And we're just going to alternate with the pink. And I only put the leaves on the pink ones because I just thought it would be too many leaves. So you're going to want to put these up nice and close to each other. And we're just going to go ahead and hot glue them all the way around. Just alternating with our pink and our white. So now we have these all the way around. And this is going to be for our center candle. And I'm going to put that aside and we're going to come back to that one later. So now we're just going to take another one of our plates, glue our candle to the center, and then we're just going to go around this one the same way, just alternating our pink and our white flowers. So here are our finished two of the smaller candles for the small ones and we have our flowers all the way around. So now what we want to do is just take our single candle holder and we're going to once again you're going to want to use the E6000 for this and let it sit overnight. But for time's sake we're going to hot glue these on here for now right to the center of our project. Like so, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the other one the same way, and then we're going to go back to our tall candle. Here are our two finished short ones. I think they look very pretty. So we're going to push those aside for now and bring back our tall one for the center. And we're just going to add some baby's breath in here. I'm just going to skip them every so often. You can just glue them right onto the leaves in there. But you're not going to see those when it's finished. And then I'm going to take some of these cute little I think they're more of a purpley pink flower, and I'm going to put these down towards the bottom so they kind of hang over. Just like that. Okay, so we're just going to go around and stick some of these in here wherever you'd like. So I ended up putting about six of these around the edge and six of the little bunches of the baby's breath. And now we're going to just go ahead and attach that to our large candle holder. And again, you're going to want to use the E6000 just around the rim of the candle holder. To save time, we're going to go ahead with our hot glue gun. right in the center. And I think that looks great. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set these up and light them up and let's see how gorgeous our project turned out. So here's our finished project. I think it came out great. You can see all the sparkles. And like I said, you can use any flowers you'd like. I think this whole project was under $15 and even with just all Dollar Tree products I think it looks nice enough to use at any event. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this idea. Have a great day.